Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Boat Club. Down here at the Boat Club docks, we're ready to set sail with half an hour-ish of improvised comedy. And what is improv? It just means it's all made up on the spot. Even this bit. Totally unplanned. And I don't even know who the two people with me are because I haven't planned anything. But I'm going to assume that one of them's named John. Hi, John. Hello. And Tom. Hi, Tom. Captain, I'm locked in Davy Jones's locker and it smells of gym bags in here. Mm. And that <laughs> there was improv, I assume, <laughs> unless Tom's been planning that since last week. But we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Today, what we're going to do is take three words, one word from each of us. And from those three words, we will build half an hour-ish of improvised comedy. Now, do both of you have a word ready to go? No. Boo. I think that's yes. That's a yes, Joe. We're of course it's a yes. yes. It's a yes. Otherwise, we'd But you're meant to say boo and. Oh. Uh, very good, very good. That's very, very good, very good. Well done, very, very good. Very good, very good, very good. Quite good, quite good. All right, and that was a bit more improv for you there. Some free improv with your improv. Why aren't you lucky? So, John, what's your word? <laughs> uh, my word is uh, going to be... Um, oh, uh, uh, mirror. Mirror? Mm. Tom, what's your word? My word, Joe, is key. Key? Ooh. And key. I'm going to go for road. Road? Yeah. Mirror, key, road. You both got that? Yeah. Have you both... I, sorry, I need here an affirmative. Have you both got that? Yes, but Joe, my question is, what are we going to do with these words? <laughs> I've already explained, Tom. We're going to perform half an hour-ish of improvised comedy based on the words mirror, key, and road. Well, Joe, how about we just get straight into it, buddy? Okay, in that case, in a moment, I will count down from three. The other two of those will join in. After the count of three, two, one, we will all shout Boat Club. And from there, the show will keep going until one of us says, and that's the show. Mm, it sounds like a Mario Kart race. Mirror key road. <laughs> and with that... Great observation. Let's get into it in three, three two, two, one. one. Club. Club. We take you to the castle of the evil queen as she peers into her mirror. You, you, you can ask for anything, your highness. I'm magic. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Give me 1,000 bees. It's... What are you going to do with these bees? Um, teach them to hate. Okay. Uh, sure. Uh, I feel like I'm getting a, sensing a little hesitancy from you. What, do you look, have a better plan? Take, look, your highness, take it from me. I've been in Magic Mirror for quite a long time. I've had several masters and mistresses who have used me uh, and my wishes um, throughout. Well, we guess you know, it. You've got a masters. We've all been to university. Look, I'm just, I'm just saying that y you're at amateur at the moment, if, if I could speak candid. Um, a, a million bees, uh, that's going to take a lot of training to try and turn them evil. They don't understand your language unless you've got some sort of other magic powers. I don't know. Okay, mirror, mirror on the wall. I ask for a more moderate amount of 200 bees that can all speak English. Okay, yeah, that's... You just... There's no confidence in your voice, though. You know, just... You know, chin up and... and yeah, well, not that high, but, like... I've just seen it all. I've just seen it all before. Look, I'm just saying I've seen this all before. The last person, the last wizard that got bees, it just didn't work out for him. We cut to the last wizard that got bees. Oh, there are too many bees. 
<laughs> cut back. <laughs> cut back. Look, it just it just I I've I've just seen I've just seen a correlation in which every bad person, every evil witch or sorcerer or whatever, it just doesn't end well for them. I, I'm sorry, but you, you I it I just don't see it going well for you. Okay, in that case, mirror mirror on the wall. I ask you to summon me two hundred and fifty hornets. Okay, okay. And fifteen well, wasps. They don't even you didn't even mention to, that they should speak English. They're just gonna come out and sting you. Why wasps? That's just making it worse. I mean, you, you said not bees. Look, you want to take over. Uh, you want to take over um, the, the the high kingdom, right? Yeah. You have gotta go about it in a different way. Um, what about instead of asking for loads of bees, one massive robot spider, like in the Wiki Wiki Wild Wild West? Oh my god, that is literally the worst idea you could have possibly said. It's mechan. It's gonna. Did you not see the Wiki Wiki Wild West? It goes wrong. I, I I didn't see the ending of it, so I can only assume the spider monster stomps over the West and Kenneth Branagh wins. No, no. No, they, he does not I've win. I've made my mind up, Mirror. I want the spider mechanical thing from Wild West. <laughs> Fine. Uh, we cut to the Mirror with a completely new... With, a, with, like, a bearded sorcerer. Look, I'm just saying, the last sorceress... I'm that... going to stop you there, Mirror. I would like... <laughs> The big mechanical spider out of Wiki Wiki Wild Wild West. Did you watch the movie? It, there's a movie? Oh my god. <laughs> Edit. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, cut to um, a group of workmen on a, uh, on a road construction site. <sighs> Gosh. Oh, Lori. All right there. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, 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 Red lorry. Oh, oh, red lorry. Oh, yellow mini. No. Gotta, gotta punch you in the balls. Oh, we, we. This is for me to the first. <laughs> we. We. Nice one. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah. Uh, um. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, anyone watched the foot footy last night? Oh yeah, yeah. Football. Oh yeah, absolutely. I love man. the bit with the kicking. Yeah. 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 Oh, if they oh watching football is like. Is like holding a, a bag of sand. And yeah. Right. And yeah. yeah and, I, and like that bag of sand, you can you can kick it with your foot. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Football's like a bag of sand. Yeah. Mm. You, you, hey, you know what else is like a bag of sand? I love football. Watch every game. Uh, yeah, yeah, like driving a, a sportsing car. Yeah. yeah. You know what else is like a bag of sand? What? Having. <laughs> Having sex with a lady. Yeah, yeah, that's what, that's what I do. That's what I do. I, that's what I do is I, I, I play around with my male friends. Uh, I, I watch lots of football and have sex with lots of ladies. Yeah, lots of bags of sand that I have sex with. You know, women are like, uh, the, when you touch their skin, it's like bags of sand. Yeah. It's you know what else is... and it gets everywhere? What? Isn't that what Zandies? What? Are you, what? Mate, are we, you are you a, are you a, are you, a, are you a fucking nerd? <laughs> I don't get what you mean, mate. <laughs> it's course and it gets everywhere. Ain't that ain't that a, a, a quote from uh, the fucking nerd wars? From movie? Arsenal versus Tottenham Hotspur. No, yeah. no, hang you, on. You Wait better a second, me. Barry. Let let him finish. Barry, finish your point. What, my what do you point? mean he sounds like a nerd? Yeah. Thank you, Barry, for letting me finish my point. No, no, he meant me. No, Barry, oh, sorry, finish Barry. Your point. Listen, Barry, Barry. 
Barry. It, it looks to me Barry. like we're we're all three manly men who work at this construction called site. Called Barry. And it, called Barry. And it looks to me as if this Barry with the glasses... <laughs> Is uh, is not. Like, do you mean this family. Barry with the glasses or this Barry with the glasses? No, you, the one I'm pointing to. Oh right, <laughs> me. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, I've got a wonky eye. I'm, I'm, I'm this one, this one, the one who said the uh, the, the nerd quote. Hey, how do you? What what was the quote? Oh, it's a sound. It's coarse and it gets everywhere. That's from what? Star Wars. What Star on. Wars? Barry. Wait, which one are you talking to? Yes. <laughs> I think he's talking to himself. <laughs> Barry, oh, well, fair uh, enough. How do you know that this Barry doesn't actually uh, that actually watches Star Wars or not, Barry? What? What do you mean? Well, the only way that you'd know if it's from Star Wars, Barry, is if you've watched the bloody film yourself. What are you, some oh, sort of nerd? No, no. Are you some I, sort of a nerd? No, guys, I, 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 I'm oh, not a nerd. Lord. I'm a man. I'm a... Oh, red, lo- red lorry. No, guys, I'm I'm not I'm not a nerd. I, 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 I nerds are like bags of sand. How? Oh, nice. Yeah, bags of sand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait a minute. He said how. He doesn't know. Hang on. <laughs> you don't know how bags of well, Barry. I mean, you can't just say everything's a lot of bag of sand and then not expand on that point any further. <laughs> we cut to we cut to the construction office, just like overseeing the construction site where so there's three them? managers. There's hang on, there's three <laughs> there's three managers in it. Barry. Um, Barry. Yes. Why is the books just filled with bags of? How much sand are we ordering? Um. Uh, well, uh, I just uh, look, look, sir. I'm a, I'm a big manly man. Uh, I'm, I'm. Uh... Listen, I put you two in charge of this construction site for a reason, and that was to get it going, to get it moving, to get things shaking. You dig? And as far as I can see, the only thing getting shooken are bags of sand. Oh, it's, uh, we being manly, we just. Uh... You know, uh, what does just, that mean to you? Just thought it'd be appropriate to have a bag, uh, a bag, books are like bags of sands when you read them. Okay, but this is a construction site, Barry. Do you not think it would be more appropriate to have some cement? Oh, uh, we cut have some to, steel girders. We we cut we cut to um we cut to the architect uh walking around with uh one of the executives, um, Trent, uh, I. It's it's all going very well so far. I just I have just one question. Yes. The construct the the, the guys the guys who are working here mm-hmm. on the construction site they they appear to be giant bags of sand with eyes and helmets. Yes. <laughs> I don't quite see the problem. I mean, they 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 don't take that you know I don't have to pay them a lot. Um, are you are you paying anthropomorphic bags of sand <laughs> to build my skyscraper? Well, they're, they're claiming to be the manliest men. <laughs> What's going li- on? Listen, when when you came to me and you said. I have an idea for a skyscraper. Remember when you said that? Yeah. You said I wanted to be like, you know, I wanted to be as famous as the the Gherkin or, you know, the 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 Shard or, you know, something like the Empire State Building. Yeah. So I thought, well, the Gherkin wasn't actually built by Gherkins, right? And the Shard wasn't actually built by Shards. And the Empire St- Forget that one. But if we called your building the bag of sand and it was made by bags of sand, made by bags of sand, then my God, we'd be the most famous building in all of the world. (laughs) How are they going to build when they have no hands? Well... (laughs) 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 
We cut to a road in the desert at night. Uh, we we see like one guy who's uh, just walking down the road with his thumb out, just looking to hitchhike. Uh, and then we like a car, a red car comes by with two passengers in it. Uh, he pulls down the window. Hey, uh, hey, hi, hi there. Um, hey. Listen, uh, this it's gonna. This is this is my husband George. Uh, Hello hey, there, George. Listen, uh, George. We, uh, I, thank you, George. Uh, so, so listen, we we we. This is the first time that we're in America. My my name's Andy, by the way. Nice to meet you. Uh, this is George. This is the Hello. first. Time, this is our first time in America, and uh, we 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 won. This was on our bucket list. We to pick up a hitchhiker. Is it okay if we pick you up? I was just planning on um, thumbing my way down this road a little farther. Taking in the parlance of the evening, but I wouldn't mind a little while to rest my feet upon your back seat of that. Not oh. too much trouble. Oh, he's, darling, darling, he, he's a he, he's a poetic uh, hitchhiker. That is cool, George. I, I, just, I, I thought we'd just get a murderous one, but no. Oh, well, we wanted the murderous experience. Just to clarify, Mr. Hitchhiker, sir, did you say you were putting your thumb out to enjoy the road and you didn't want to be hitchhiked? Yes, sir. I was just uh, throwing my way down this road, feeling the wind blow between my thumb. Oh, he's a little bit crazy. We that that we could mm. that could work. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, well, get in, get in, get in the back. Come on, come on. All right. So, which you two am I going to be having sex with, then? Oh. 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 <laughs> I mean, I assume we all acknowledge that this is very much a male prostitute hacker situation. Oh, is is it? Yeah. Oh, oh I we. You know, oh, it's I... it's like your um, what do you call it over in your England? Um, a fake taxi situation where uh, oh, I get a lift from y'all, but then I don't have quite the funds in which to pay for it, so I pay for it with other means, and by that I mean my schlong. Is this is this a common uh, thing in America? Do you do do do? We're, we're new, so like you said, we're from England. So we, is this new thing? Do we have to have sex with hitchhikers? George, I didn't know we had to have sex with the hitchhikers. I thought we just pick them up and take I them. Mean, where we want. Unless you want to well, give them this ride for free. Well, that, I thought that was the idea. George, yeah, I, what, what what was? I I thought that we so I thought we um we we you know we get we get you know we, you you hitchhiked and then we pick you up and then and then you know either maybe you murder us. Um, you teach yeah. us a story about what it's like to be on the roads, um, and then we drop you off, and then we're either dead or we've learned a lesson in life. Is is fucking you part of it? Because we'll happily I mean, do it if it's part of the American experience. I mean, it can be part of it. I don't know. Um, I get the feeling that you were hoping for something else. Were you looking more for a murder experience or more of a kind of freewheeling tales about life on the road um, with some kind of linking theme between I've, two or three themes I've, I've i've got it i've got it what i wanted is i wanted um so this is this is this is quite hard actually and i know that you know not every hitch i can do this um oh my god sorry jeremy i'm just getting... what did you want george what did no you want? no sorry i'm just getting a bit excited because i think that maybe i don't know so what i wanted is for you to sort of tell us about life on the road but the whole time there's this sort of like sinister edge as if maybe you will murder us Mm. and maybe you won't and then it turns out that you know we drop you off just as you're about to divulge some sort of secret about yourself mm -hmm. um and then there's still that sort of threat there so we always are questioning hey do you remember that time we picked up that hitchhiker and we felt like we were gonna die um like the american experience you know like we've yeah, seen yeah, yeah. Uh, stuff. i'm sorry to inform me all that uh you seem to have got your experiences mixed up. What y'all describing there is the, uh, it's the uh, hobo box car situation, where mm. you're getting to, you jump onto a port? moving train, or you get into a car with a hobo in the back of it, and then he tells you some freewheeling tales, usually with some kind of quirky but increasingly bittersweet melancholic edge to them, and then at the end of it, you wonder world or stories about him. And then he uh, he threatens you with a knife before you jump off. 
That, yeah. And we can't get that from a car, can we? We have to get on no, a... No, um, if, it's, if it's any oh. help, I can give your directions to the closest um, train crossing if you want to try or look at jumping into a boxcar. Uh, we cut to, uh, we cut to like an American city and uh, we see uh, my character with a policeman. Hi, sorry, sorry to interrupt you. I know that you're on the street and you're probably working. Uh, you've got the uniform on. Um, oh, hey, no problem. I'm I'm not I'm not from New York. I'm 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 from England, and um, uh, I've always wanted to try this. This is sort of like on my bucket list. Would it be possible if um, oh god, how do I say this? If um, if no, you... just say it. Just say it, babe. Just say it. Oh, th- thanks, Brittany. Um, would it be possible if like I'm going to put this balaclava on and I'm going to try and rob a store with a gun? Would it be possible if like you came in a little bit later and like we had a chase? Just because it's a very American thing to do, and I've always wanted to do it. We don't really have it in England that much. All our police officers Sorry, have, like, I'm, I'm just going to stop you there. Uh, are you looking for more of the kind of the, uh, the you get away with it, and I uh, spend the next 30 years hunting you down and being obsessed with this case at the sacrifice of my marriage? Mm-hmm. Are you looking for more of a kind of a point break, like a, we find ourselves in some kind of psychosexual situation where I have to go on the cover in your bank? Oh, um, robbing group, or are you looking for more of the kind of poetic folk hero thing where you get gunned down in the chase? Oh wow! Oh, you, sorry, what about, I think I oh, see sorry. a question. Oh, yes. I was just say, what about what about um like a heat kind of situation? Yeah, like a big big gunfight in the street. Um, oh, and no you one... want me to uh, you want me to scream at you about how you've got a great ass? That's oh yeah, that's yeah, very that's it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I think I can do that. Um, sorry, I am just gonna have to call up some of my buddies because uh, I feel like this one really requires uh, a multiple person chase with uh, us all kind of shouting to each other on walkie talkies about get it done. Uh, we cut to uh, the police precinct where Joe's police character is in the office with the um, with uh, with the commissioner Bukowski. God damn it, you wasted so many blue lives in this strange little chase with this English guy. We have two guys in the hospital now because of you. I I mean, it was all part of the experience. There had to be some casualties. Listen, I'm just going to say this once, okay? I'm just going to give you these two options. Do you want me to be the type of commissioner who's always busting balls and is always getting his ass handed to him by the mayor? And do you want me to literally have steam coming out of my ears? Or do you want me to be the type of commissioner that sort of dislikes you from the very beginning, but then sort of warms up to you? And then by the end of the movie, I sort of embrace you like my sort of son. I was thinking of going more for kind of the actually you've been something of a mentor figure to me. And that therefore you feel like after having seen my father getting gunned down, who was also a cop and that my father before him was a cop and so on, that you have seen uh, cycles of generational violence and that you're trying to lead me onto a better path, but you are constantly having to uh, just, you know, kind of cover for my occasional bouts of radical action. Well, I got a couple of packages. If you want to look at this color-coded uh, ring that I have here, it has a, di- a bunch of different scenarios that you'd like to choose from, depending on your personality. I mean, which one are you interested in? Olive green or like a... We- we what can- the hell's going on in here? Oh, the mayor. Oh, I don't know who it is. He might be the mayor. I'm guessing. Listen, you're goddamn right, police commissioner. I am the goddamn mayor. But oh, listen... Wait, I'm I just going to stab you there. I feel like you're overusing the term goddamn. Can we try that again, but with you varying your language a little more, just so it has a bit more impact when you say goddamn? See, it's funny you say that. I wanted feedback. Um, I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to... Uh, we cut to um, the, the deep uh, sort of caves of uh, some sort of um, uh, ancient civilization ruin. You see uh, a flashlight go through the um, uh, break through the. Oh my god! It seems like after years of searching, I have finally found the key to the lost city. All I have to do is unlock this fabled door. He looks at 
and unlocks the door. Smoke booms out. And the door opens. On the other side? (laughs) Hello. Hi. My God. What do we have here? I'm Barbara. And I'm Scampy. (laughs) (laughs) Edit. Uh, we cut to uh, we we cut to like um, uh, we cut to a sauna, uh, and we see uh, there's there's two there's two gentlemen in there with towels on and they're sweating. They're sweating oh, so hard. Yes, it's so, a hot one today. It's a it's a hard one in the sauna. Oh yeah, but I'm glad that I'm glad that we can finally be alone. Yeah, I know. I was I... getting, I was getting kind of worried that they'd find out about the two of us. Well, you know, I, I just think that uh, if if we keep our conversations under this steamy, steamy room, then uh, what's gonna happen? I don't think a lot. <laughs> okay. Well, good. Well, the first thing I want to do is uh, I want to thank you. Uh, police chief and uh, for looking the other way when me and my boys were getting the drug getting the drug shipment in from the docks and nobody yeah. needs to know okay I understand that all roads lead back to us but no one's gonna find out if we if we're both in each other's hands hmm so, um, <clears throat> I seen that you're going for, um, sort of like, uh, bribing the police commissioner in a pseudo-romantic way. You know, I was going for more of a head-tight mafioso-type chairman, but I was, you know, like Marlon Brando in The Godfather, but, uh, I'm mm. now sort of slightly, I, I kind of want to try my crazy side. Would it be okay if I tried my crazy Al Pacino side, you know, in the third Godfather movie where he goes a little bit crazy? Would it be, would it be okay if I, if I did that again? You know what? This is time for experiments. Let's just go for it. <laughs> <I did. laughs> um, we uh, cut to um, a, <laughs> we cut, <laughs> Oh, it's gonna be we, funny. Oh, <laughs> this is gonna be good. Uh, we cut to we cut to um a husband and wife who have um just uh, that are having home improvements done. Oh. Um, thank thank you, thank you. Uh, honey, um, did you did you hire the the workmen in? How do you how do you know them? Oh, uh, I'm, he's a friend of a friend. I mean. He just, he just is so okay. Um, and what, what's he, what's he actually doing? What are you paying him for? Uh, just, just to do the ladder, uh, not the ladder, sorry, the stairs. Just to doing the, just, sorry, just the balcony on the stairs. Do the ladder now. No, 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 no. Sorry, that was just my mistake. You just carry on with the stairs. Um, um, so you can get rid of the stairs and put in a ladder if you prefer. No, no, Barry, it's okay. Just use this, oh, just, this, just the stairs. Thank you. Thanks, Barry. Listen, honey, I don't know why you're... What, what, are you worried about him? Like, why? I just don't... It just doesn't seem that he's doing a lot. That's... that's what, do you, what do you mean? <laughs> well, I don't know how to say this, but, like, I mean... I don't know if I'm allowed to say this anymore, but, um... Like, all you've sort of done is just put, like, a construction helmet and a plaid jacket onto a, uh, onto a bag of sand... Don't what? listen to her, Barry. <laughs> um, honey, this that's a bit it's that's, a bit rude. That's a bit rude. Uh also what's Frankly, I think you smell bad. Alright, Barry, don't okay, you can you don't need to this is between me and my wife. Look, honey can... Honey, what so what do you mean he's a bag of sand? Like what are you talking about? He's just a regular guy, you know. He's a he's a regular man who loves football and loves drinking and loves punching his friends in the arm when he sees a red lorry. Scampy fries, 
blue jeans, the fratellis. <laughs> See, like a regular man. He's like me. Honey, he's like me. I love all those things hey, as well. Babe, what do you... What do you mean all those bands? It's just what? a bag of sand. What, what do you... It didn't say anything. Um, at the, uh, we see like um, the the converses that my character's wearing. Like sand starts to drip out of the converse shoes. What, honey? What are you? What are you talking? Like this is preposterous. He's not a bag of sand. That's silly. Okay, just stop being so silly. You're being you. You know you're being like Zinedine Zidane, the Italian goalkeeper from uh, Toronto. You stop it. Wait. You... Uh, you got her. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Barry. What do you, you mean? He didn't say Barry. anything. Babe, what? What's all that sand doing on the floor? What... Where's it coming from? Oh no, I'm, I'm dripping. <laughs> Babe, what? I thought your name was Harry. What's your, honey? What's your name? Barry's been calling me Barry this entire time. <laughs> Because it's your name, Barry. Okay, honey. So you can be Barry too. Honey, just... Honey, join us. Everyone will be Barry soon. What do you mean? Honey, it's just... you. you, I don't know how to say this, but you married a bag of sand. (gasps) And soon you will marry Barry. You made love to a bag of sand. I strapped a dildo to the end of my bag and you thought it was a human pe- Why do you think I always wanted to have sex with you in the dark? Why did you think why when you said your your male boobs do actually feel like bags of sand like in the movie The 40-year-old virgin and I said, "Ha, ah, that's funny. It's because I'm an actual bag of sand." Oh my god. Suddenly we see that out of his wife's eyes, sand starts pouring. <laughs> What's happening to me? So we, we cut to the next day and uh, the, we're in the same house um, and there's just like trails of sand everywhere and we have the uh, we have Joe's uh, Kowalski police officer in with another detective. All right, Ready to so see Kowalski. An- an- another sand on sand. Uh, fight here. Does seem like it, doesn't it? Are we going for more of a resigned kind of, hey, this is just a symptom of a larger problem kind of tone, or are we going for him a, God, what terrible things man and sand can commit type tone? Oh, uh, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just a bag of sand. What? I, I'm ju- I'm, I haven't seen that many movies. Sergeant Barry? Your sand? I'm I'm a big bag of sand. You've been talking to a big bag of sand this entire time. Why I have I don't have any arms. I've always just noticed they didn't even put a face on you. Nope. It's just the packaging of the of the sand. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna just have to call up the captain. Captain! Uh come in, officer. Um Hey, it's uh, Sergeant Bukowski here. Uh, you're not a bag of sand, are you? If, if I was a bag of sand, would I know what it's like to watch the football at the weekend with a nice cold beer and looking at looking at gosh darn cars go by and punching my friend in the arm and saying, hey, wouldn't it be great if we were bags of sand? Hey, yeah, that of... does sound like the kind of thing a human would say, especially in popular movie of gen of men such as us, Wiki Wiki Wild Wild East. Mm. Right, guys, just to stop you there for a second, is do we want to go with a Day of the Triffids type vibe here for the end of the show, or do you, should we do it like um, I don't know, like where we I don't know, I just. Hmm. Well, well we I was th- thinking, obviously, more kind of invasion of the body snatchers. If I can, yeah. I, was, I was thinking that route. See, um, I was thinking. But, uh, oh, oh, go on. No, 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 no. no, no. Uh, Tom, Tom, just 
All I was going to say was I was wondering, you might be about to answer this, but what the subtext we were going for, because obviously in the instance of Invasion of the Body Snatchers, it's kind of it's a metaphor for communism. But I'm interested to see where you were thinking this was going. See, um, I thought that um, we were going for like, oh, my God, everything in this show, hasn't it been such a utopia? Um like obviously own, all of this had to have happened in the mind of someone whose head's in a jar. Oh, you were thinking of Westfall approach. Okay. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. John, what do you think to that? Hmm. I haven't seen the end of Wild Wild West, but I'll definitely like to try that out for the end of this show. Okay. It's the cut end of to Bukowski War. riding on top of a mechanical spider, <laughs> fighting sand people. Get it, sand. I'm going to break you down like you were glass, which is what sand gets made into. Uh, we, the, right behind Kowalski is the magic mirror. You know, I, I, I've got to admit, you're the first person to actually succeed with a mechanical spider. Fair play, fair play. <laughs> and that's the show! That's the show. Yes. <laughs> Great, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Fantastic. Good. Um, Good. Joe? Yeah. John, I'd like to say that show was as good as a bag of sand. <laughs> Get it? I mean, we're I all do. guys here. We're yes, all thinking we're, it. We all get the episode, Tom. We know what you mean. So, if you like us, um, you like your improv, like you like your bags of sand um, full, then please uh, fill us up further by going to our social medias. You can find Tom at at Tom Pullen tweets or at Tom Pullen Graham. John, <laughs> where can they find you, John? John, <laughs> John, where can we find you? All oh, right, uh, one at one boardman on Twitter or uh, the Bristol Long Form Comedy is a Bristol uh, improv institution. Go check it out if you wanna. You know, mm. you're someone like Tom. You just put your head in the sand, bag of sand. See, I can reference the show we did. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm back in. And if you want to make like a uh, make like a giant mechanical spider and crawl over the web oh. to my Twitter at not Joe Ronchka, that's N O T J O E R C Z K A. <laughs> and as always, if you enjoyed this show, you can throw a, a little something some of that way at coffee.com forward slash boat club. That's ko hyphen fi dot com forward slash boat club all one word mm. and we hope you enjoyed this if you did like share and subscribe and tom as we end every episode by saying help the wish has gone wrong again bye bye, bye.